while I take a break from the sawmill and a break from all of the other various assorted tasks going on around this place, Steve is on the roof. He's on the other side over there. I am tied in here. <laughs> tied onto this. And I have him secured here. Looking for dogs. The wee hours of the night. <laughs> Scout! Here we are again. This is the next night. And we're looking for Clyde in the thick of the forest, almost 10, 10 p.m. I want to take this. Give me your light. The good one? Scout has wounds everywhere. Clyde Bear, what did you get into? Clyde? Did you get into the diapers? Hi, Sherwin. I would give you a very quick tour of the camper. I'm gonna make this try make this really quick. I actually have to go back down to the sawmill and um, mill some wood. This is a 1987 Slumber Queen truck camper. It fits exactly in the eight foot box of the truck, and we bought it in 2019 and paid $2,500 for it, which at the time I thought was a really good deal, based on the assumption that it had no leaks. And I genuinely don't think that the guy knew that it was leaking, but the front window uh, where the bed is was leaking. And as I was going around trying to find out what color of paint I was going to do, I just happened to like poke my finger because I saw the wallpaper peeling and literally like my finger went through the wall and I started peeling it and it was like water pouring through the window. And yeah, so that turned into basically a renovation. I had to gut the whole front of the camper and take out all of the rotten wood and the wet insulation, reframe it, re-insulate it. I was lucky to have a friend kind of help me because he had had a trailer before and had to renovate it himself. I basically had to redo it. And instead of trying to match the existing wallpaper, I just used scrap boards. If I were to do it again, I think I would have actually ripped out all the way up the ceiling in the bed space there and done the whole thing in those boards. But to be honest, I didn't have enough of the wood anyway, and I just needed to do it to where I cut everything out. 
we bought a new mattress and we bought a solar panel and a solar charge controller and a battery because I accidentally left this outside light on once and it was uh, connected, it's connected to the truck and so the truck went dead one day. I put in new flooring. I took out old linoleum flooring, which was peeling off anyway. I made this table. It's um, a design that I found on the YouTube and I honestly, I don't remember where it came from. It was too long ago. But anyway, you can definitely find it out. It's just um, pipe and it allows you to move the table out of the way and keeps the floor space free because before there was a screwed down thing on the floor and a steel pipe that came up. And to me, that was really taking up prime real estate. So the floor is nice and open. You can walk in easily this way and the table isn't like right in your way. This wall thing that I made, like everything else I make, is out of scrap wood. It's what I found on the side of the road. It's wood I had been, I don't know, maybe given. Some of it I milled and I wanted something. I didn't want to paint this because we would be coming in with gear all the time. Like we, this was basically designed to be rugged with dogs and we go mountain biking in this. So I didn't want it to be something that would easily scuff because the paint scuffs really easily. So I wanted to kind of do something different. This is an original countertop. All I did was add a little front piece of wood trim, painted everything else is original, like the cupboards and hardware. Uh, the backsplash stuff is just a peel and stick tile and I copied what other people do in campers for that. The problem is, is I don't know that those people were in the same climate as me and I've heard from someone else after complaining about it that it's the cold, the fluctuation in temperature and the peel and stick stuff shrinks and expands and it was peeling off. So it kind of didn't turn out very well. I had to gorilla glue it onto the wall to get it to stay. It just wouldn't stay. And so it's, there's gaps in it and it kind of looks really crappy now to be honest. But aside from tearing it all off and tiling it properly with real tiles or doing wood or something, it is what it is. I took out the hood fan because to be honest, I thought it took up a lot of space and it was just, yeah, it took up a lot of space. And I figure if I'm cooking and I need ventilation, I'll just open the window that's right there. So I have not missed the hood vent whatsoever. I made this curtain because there was a curtain there and it's not as though we need privacy or anything in here. Um, I did it, I made it primarily because the dogs can jump up from the table here. So if we were leaving and leaving the dogs in here, I would just close the curtain and it wouldn't allow them to jump up. But I didn't want it to be dark in here. So I made it like out of some white fabric that I had, just a few diff couple different fabrics. So it keeps it nice and bright. Made all the little um, cupboards. The bathroom. I will show you the same thing, all the scrap boards, all the scrap boards, like barn board type look. Um, I put lots of hooks around so we could hang our coats, hang our bike gear to dry. And I painted the toilet because it was like cream colored or yellow colored. So I spray painted it a paint. I spray painted it a white paint that was good for plastic. And it's held up actually pretty good. And then just paint, painted it, sanded it, primed it and painted it.
The outside looks pretty terrible and that's fine. I don't really care. And that's pretty much it, I think. I don't know what else to tell you. It's not very much to show. Yeah, I'm hoping, what time is it here? It's almost six o'clock p.m. I have to go back down to the mill. I gotta do a bunch of work still and then I'm gonna try and edit this video. There's gonna be no frills. And I'm gonna try and upload it overnight and hopefully post it to you for the morning, Tuesday morning. What am I doing tomorrow morning? I'm going out to the cabin to deliver some supplies and get some things going for the cabin build. If I'm being completely honest, life is really crazy right now with the dogs and... I'm just trying to keep it together.